Testing for COVID-19 is on the rise. Health officials say it's a sign that the pandemic is picking up. This could cause a domino effect, though, into our hospital systems. Our Justina Cornell is breaking down the numbers. This thing is increasing just as the Delta variant spread is increasing. The chief medical officer here at Total Access Urgent Care says that at all other locations, testing has increased. In May, they were testing up to 500 people a day, and now that's doubled to over 1,000 people a day. At Total Access Urgent Care, the positivity rate has tripled since May, which means more people are getting sick. Now with more testing in the mix, the positivity rates start to increase. And those are detecting the early cases, then, uh, you know, it starts to build up and more people get uh, get sick and get hospitalized, which takes us to our hospitalization numbers. The task force reports 398 COVID-19 patients in four of our major hospitals. That's a 30 percent increase from the 300 reported eight days earlier and more than double the 188 reported on July 8th. Getting up to the upper 300s, that's a that's a sign that things are are really getting hectic. Task Force leader Dr. Clay Donegan says 90% of its COVID patients are unvaccinated. And at this rate, we are on a pace. We could within four weeks, five weeks, be at levels that were pretty similar to what happened in December. The peak for hospitalizations was 962 on December 1st. To avoid this, Dr. Donegan urges the use of masks and vaccines to slow down this pace. Yet, if that doesn't happen, he's worried of what's to come. And we're going to have a lot more people in the hospital before very long. Justina Cornell, five on your side. As of today, new guidance came out from the CDC when it comes to testing. Previously, the CDC said vaccinated people who are asymptomatic did not need to get tested if they were exposed to COVID-19. But now, if a person is fully vaccinated and gets exposed, they should get tested three to five days after the exposure. President Biden is ordering federal